Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to the KCP Limited Q4 FY22 Earnings Conference Call hosted by Nirmal Bang Equities Private Limited. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen-only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Mangesh Badang from Nirmal Bang Equities Private Limited. Thank you and over to you, sir. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the KCP 4Q FY22 results conference call. We have with us today uh, Mr. G.N. Murthy, uh, Chief Financial Officer, KCP, uh, Mr. B.V.P.S. Chaudhary, Senior General Manager, Cement Plant Head, Macherla, and Mr. Shri P. Ramachandra Rao, Senior DGM, Aro. Uh, so without further ado, I now request Mr. Muthi uh, to discuss his view on the results as well as the industry dynamics. Uh, over to you, Mr. Muthi. Yeah, good morning, everybody. I am GN Muthi, Chief Financial Officer of KCP Limited. I would uh, briefly give an overview of uh, what we did in Q4 and the entire full year of uh, FI22. Uh, the KCP flagship, cement, uh, flagship business is cement, and uh, KCP also has engineering unit and a hotel at Hyderabad. And the engineering unit is located uh, in Chennai, and the cement is located in Andhra Pradesh in two cement plants. We also have a subsidiary in Vietnam in uh, uh, dealing with sugar. So coming back to the performance of the company, during the financial year, the flagship cement, uh, business cement did very well uh, by registering uh, a healthy 19% volume growth and registering over 71% capacity utilization of the company. The demand continues to be good for the product uh, we manufacture, cement, in the areas we operate, EAP, Telangana, and uh, Tamil Nadu mostly, and we also operate in uh, Maharashtra and Orissa and uh, Kerala also. Demand was good, and uh, bottom lines uh, continues to be good, uh, though not comparable to last year, which was exceptionally large. Uh, profit was, uh, uh, could be, uh, I mean, managed. But uh, the real issue in the current year, though the demand is, uh, uh, I mean, sales was volume was 30 lakhs, uh, the prices, uh, the prices were also good, selling prices, but the margins came down because of the abnormal cost escalation of the coal and other fuel material, including diesel. Otherwise, the prices were also good, better than last year. The importantly, uh, what uh, knocked out the EBITDA margin was only coal and the diesel prices. Otherwise, the company did very well on the cement side. The EBITDA margins last year, uh, and the last year when I say 21, FI21, was at uh, about 1,100. This year, it was uh, nearly 800. Uh, the uh, reduction is mainly due to fuel and uh, uh, coal and fuel. And on Q4, we did, uh, compared to Q3 sequentially, we did very well in Q4 also. Volumes have substantially grown from 7 lakhs of Q3 to 8 lakhs of Q4. That is on sequentially. Uh, but the margins have fallen in Q4, like every other cement uh, manufacturer in the country. Margins have uh, started uh, going southwards in Q4, mainly because of the uh, coal uh, prices and fuel prices, because of the Ukraine war effects. Uh, but compared to Q4 of last year, Q4 of the current year, volumes were more or less in the marginal increase was there. That is on the cement. Coming to our uh, sugar at Vietnam, it has done very, very well uh, during the current year with the prices of uh, sugar substantially improving nearly over 20, between 20 and 25 percent net realization 
and also volumes going up by 10% uh, during uh, FY22 compared to the earlier years. The increase is mainly due to the better yield in the sugar cane as well as the measures taken to uh, protect certain domestic uh, industry against the dumping from across the borders of sugar in Vietnam. So all this uh, helped us in uh, getting larger margins and in fact subsidy started growing over the parent that is even uh, it made more profits than even the parent uh, that is uh, KCP limited. The subsidy for information of investors do not have any income tax because of the, that being categorized as agri product in that country, no income tax. So PAT and PBT both are identical. They made about 154 crores of uh, PAT and uh, the KCP on standalone basis overall in India made nearly 130 crore, 129 crores which we declared last year. So the KCP, though there is marginal redu some reduction in the in the country, we were compensated amply by the subsidiary's performance. So overall, at group level, the performance of the company was really good, even compared to the last year. That is on the sugar, sugar, and we hope that the season would continue to be better in the next year. Uh, sugar and uh, the risk of uh, Indian cement is uh, compensated by the better uh, performance in the sugar in Vietnam. Coming back again to KCP Limited other units other than cement, uh, we have a hospitality unit hotel called Mercury at Hyderabad which started improving substantially with uh, occupancies which used to be 50 percent like that substantially go, going beyond 70 80 percent and also the uh, food and beverage section in that uh, hotel also started receiving footfalls because of the increased travel and increased uh, and reduced restrictions on uh, due to covid so on hotel performance uh, is uh, improving by day and uh, we hope that uh, the hotel would uh, do well in the uh, next year. But coming back again to hotel, we also started improving, I mean, uh, adding certain attractions uh, in the hotel, like setting up rooftop restaurant and others, which should uh, improve our uh, uh, performance uh, in the hotel. But uh, the the concern continues to be the engineering unit, which contributes hardly 100 crores of turnover out of 1,700 crores of turnover of the standalone basis of KCP Limited. It contributes uh, less than 100 crores, but the loss contributed is uh, 24 crores and uh, 22 crores during the current year. The main reason for the loss is not uh, not lack of order. The, in the country, demand is good for engineering. Order book is healthy. The main problem is the substantial input price increases continues to ravage the companies in some form or other. Earlier COVID, current year, uh, the abnormal increase in input prices are causing the harm because once you accept orders, and uh, you have to execute it, otherwise you have a relationship issue and the continuity of the company business itself. So we were honoring the customer's uh, uh, order, and, uh, but uh, the order book is quite healthy at over 150 crores. Uh, uh, we are sure to receive orders, but we are uh, now becoming uh, choosy because of the cost um, is substantially more of steel, scrap and fuel. That is on the engineering unit. And power is another segment we have. Uh, we have uh, all kinds of power, uh, wind, solar, idle, thermal. Thermal power plant we started uh, using lesser uh, because of the higher cost of uh, the fuel from across the borders, Indonesian coal. So we started importing maximum power from the grid, which gives at lesser price than the generating cost because of the abnormal, never seen before coal prices. 
so we are maximizing the thermal power plant capacity but still to ensure continuity of production of cement we need to produce if there are any power cuts due to lack of uh, for uh, coal for the power generating companies we have to continue the thermal power plant generation to aid the cement production which gives uh, profit in the net that is on the power plant but hydel is the one which is the, the a good uh, i mean performer due to continuously good monsoon year after year and uh, last year we had uh, one of the good monsoons and uh, the uh, that unit made uh, good profits also on considering the arms length price transfer price we undertake for wheeling the power to other cement making units so the hydel generation of our 1 uh, crore units is really helping us in reducing the cost or making profits and uh, as per the current year estimates of the imd monsoon is going to be normal we expect uh, similar good performance from the hydel solar and wind power continues to con uh, run uh, at a stable manner because the country doesn't have lack of solar and also wind at uh, tirunelveli in tamil nadu south tamil nadu continues to operate at uh, the levels it was operating for several years in the past so we do not see any problems in the green energy side of uh, generation uh, that is uh, hydel solar and uh, wind power thermal power plant we continue to run even if it is uh, coal is uh, expensive due to consideration of uh, continuing production in uh, of the cement why we have to run the power plant even at higher cost is the country is expected to register good demand due to infrastructure and other other governmental investment and uh, the, the residential houses are picking up substantially in hyderabad tamil nadu andhra pradesh everywhere we hope that uh, cement uh, would uh, receive good demand as per one estimate the prices also might improve by about 5 to 7% this is not an internal estimate one independent agency estimate so if we see some light of the ukraine war if the prices recede uh, hopefully it should be better we use from my side of the war view any questions i take so should we start the flow for questions and answer yeah thank you very much we will now begin the question and answer session anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and 1 on the touchstone telephone if you wish to remove yourself from the question queue you may press star and 2 participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question ladies and gentlemen we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles Reminder to the participants anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and 1 at this time First question is from the line of Ronak Chera from Origa Capital please go ahead Hello sir am I audible Yeah perfectly Yes sir thanks for this opening remarks sir i have a couple of questions one is on the outlook on heavy engineering business and 5k kcp we have already touched upon this but uh, yeah. sir in your sense would we start making profits in this division uh, anytime soon and what would be our uh, aspiration for a sustainable margin in this business uh first thing is on uh, the joint venture fkcp uh, you might have noticed that we made profits in uh, our joint venture fkcp after last year losses Uh, so there is a plus margin in uh, our joint venture nearly 2 crores profit we made uh, on engineering which is uh, runs a similar business like our joint venture joint venture makes only sugar machinery our engineering unit makes all kinds of machinery for space cement sugar all kinds of large equipments the outlook if you are asking me from demand side is definitely good no doubt but uh, the only question is on the cost of uh, production so if if i accept an order for 100 uh, rupees now and uh, assuming cost at uh, 90 rupees if the cost goes beyond that 90 that is the only concern 
So we are looking at the input cost in the current year, but otherwise the order book is healthy even now. And uh, we, if we open the gate, we will get orders uh, flooding in. So we are only now choosing because of the cost. No, uh, and the outlook is we are though are not uh, giving any guidance as such. We expect uh, the substantial reduction in the losses of the engineering unit. We are targeting break even at least. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, second, sir, uh, uh, on the capital allocation side, uh, what would be our capex plan for next three years and in what areas? This is the first part. And the second, plans to sell uh, the non-core assets like hotel, power plant, etc. Uh, first, I will answer your second question. Uh, there are no plans to sell the non-core assets of uh, hospitality hotel because it is going to make a substantial improvement. And also engineering, which is the order of the day now. We are also trying to explore the possibility of diversifying into other areas. Hopefully we would, uh, uh, you people will see a, a good turnaround and there, is, there are no plans, let me stress, no plans whatsoever to sell these assets. So and the first part, uh, CAPEX plan? CAPEX plan, yeah. Uh, our company has good cash reserves in India as well as in uh, uh, the Vietnam. Large cash reserves, nearly 500. Practically, our debt equity ratio at group level is zero. Equity, 100%. So, the, the issue of uh, availability of money is there. But now, we have certain uh, proposals like installing cost reduction measures of waste sheet recovery. But we are, we are ready to inform the stock exchanges. They were only very preliminary plans. And uh, CapEx also, we like to take forward certain initiatives once we see the prices, uh, I mean, the input prices stabilizing at certain level because we cannot suddenly commit large funds of CapEx and then uh, end up with uh, some kind of uh, pressure on the uh, already running uh, business costs. So we, we definitely we are looking at uh, substantial improvement in the operations and also turnovers. Our target is to make it double, but uh, still we have to finalize the plans. We are in the process of finalizing, uh, selecting a few areas, whether they are current uh, uh, existing business or existencies or new businesses. But still, we would like to have a look at uh, the stabilization of the current uh, international uh, uh, volatile uh, circumstances. Then I uh, take a call on the CapEx. Yes, we have good plans on hand, but we will uh, take a call, inform all investors uh, through exchange appropriately. So, but from a three-year horizon, any ballpark number which you would want to share? Not just uh, right now, I will not be able to share ballpark numbers because uh, this, this cannot be the forum unless if I share here, I have to inform the exchange first. Sure. Sir, and my last question is on uh, cement business. Uh, sir, you mentioned the volumes for F22 were 30 lakhs? 30 lakhs, yeah. 3 million. Yeah. Yes. Sir, uh, and what would be our EBITDA pattern for the packaging plan? Packaging plant is very minuscule. It will have to impact in the prices, but it should in, impact the next year in the cost reduction. But uh, Abita, for sure, question is uh, 700 versus 1,100 last year. Little over 700. Okay. Okay. And so the outlook would be... Uh, in fact, to... you can take it as 800. Okay. And so the outlook would be for the next year, given uh, you see that pricing could improve. The demand side, we expect to be uh, really good in the current year also, that is 23. We expect uh, in line with the researchers, our internal estimate is also that we get uh, the demand for cement due to various measures. See, 90% of our operations are on cement. Various measures taken by the government 
and the economy to expect it to grow largest in the country by both international monetary fund as well as the reserve bank of india and uh, around 8% uh, there, there should be no issue on demand the only concern would be the cost cost is uh, the fuel cost otherwise demand side yes it is going to be good that is our internal as well as external management okay thank you so much sir, for answering my questions thank you thank you the next question is from the line of dipen shade from boyant capital please go ahead hi sir thanks for the opportunity i hope i'm audible yes sir you are audible thanks so as i see it um, the the improvement in operations or profitability this year has been primarily led by the uptick in the sugar business the sugar segment uh and all of those profits come in from our operations in vietnam correct yeah not all 50 is in india 50 is in vietnam okay almost rather right so and um, all right so uh, one is that uh, you know the the and we are set for another good year i would assume unless something has changed um in the recent past yeah so uh, one part is of course that uh, as a result of this increased profitability uh, in the sugar segment uh, and uh, not a very large decline in cement profitability uh, the cash reserves at our disposal have increased and i would assume that much of those cash reserves are in vietnam no sir vietnam we have uh, about 300 inr and in india we have Uh, 200 and nearly 250 crores of right. deposit. Right. So, is there a tax implication in repatriating this money in case we want to deploy it in India? In case? Ah, uh, no. Okay. From Vietnam, there is no tax uh, repatriation thing. Once we receive dividend in the country, is it uh, subject to Indian uh, taxes? Subject to ADM? Okay. So the only way you could repatriate that money would be through dividends and then naturally you would be subject to whatever uh, so there is no there, there is no withholding in vietnam but there will be a tax implication when you bring the money into india from a government of india taxation perspective correct okay um and um, right now also a question on the tax bit uh, the you know at an aggregate level on the consol numbers the tax rate uh, the effective tax rate seems to be low Uh, am i reading something wrong here or could you share some uh, flavor you are not at all reading wrong there is no tax in vietnam there is tax of 30% in the country okay so at a blended level we it, it looks like we are paying less than you know whatever 15 16% okay because uh, once the profits were more or less equal 180 be pbt in india ah, and uh, yeah. 150 in uh, vietnam 154 something right so it is less than half i agree with you sir so uh, okay so i think my other question has already been asked before and uh, we will wait on the sidelines for clarity on your capital allocation because you are sitting on a substantial amount of money now and it will be very interesting uh, to see whether uh, you can deploy it sensibly uh, or not in fact uh, management is seized of uh, this uh, i mean uh, the is a problem to sit on cash also i will cash I deployed in uh, interest reduction by depositing in the banks. Why I am not repaid the loan? See, we can use it for in capital investment. That is our idea. Now suddenly, from uh, first week, first quarter onwards, this Vietnam war broke out and destabilizing the entire thing. You are seeing today also market crash in thousand days. But they everywhere fell off. Sure, sure. I, I, I understand. Thank you, sir. Thanks very much for the opportunity. Yeah. thank you the next question is from the line of saket kapoor from kapoor and company please go ahead yeah namaskar sir uh, thank you for the opportunity firstly coming to your last part sir you told that market uh, i could not get your point uh, markets are down 1000 point money how do that correlate with our uh, uh, investment strategy uh, it doesn't exactly correlate with the investment strategy but the uh, consequences of uh, uh, the effects in the country are looked i mean uh, are 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 felt in the market so the market thinks that reserve banks uh, hawkish stance 
and market uh, worry about Ukraine war, Federal, it is a combination of factors. So how it affects uh, my decision? See, if costs continue to be at elevated level, do I take a call on committing large capex or funding the large uh, costs? The, this is the choice between, uh, I mean, allocating funds. Uh, between the capex as well as operational needs. This is the basic point. So whether market sees the uh, conflict continue for long time, is it uh, the effect, uh, the crash is the effect of that thinking, as federal thinking, or are the stance? So it's a combination, what I, I mean to say. But my view is limited to uh, the thinking that when the fuel prices would come down, then we can take a call on substantial capital. Right. So in the consolidated numbers, we find the other income component of, uh, <coughs> sorry, 34.20 crore for this quarter. So uh, what attributes to this amount, sir? Uh, it is not force of crores, so stand alone. No, I am talking about the consolidated numbers. Sir. The, on the consolidated for this quarter, the other income uh, stands at 34.20 crores. Uh, other income stands at 34 at consolidated level? Yes, sir. Consolidated level you are seeing? Yeah. Yes. Uh, first point is, we made uh, substantial interest income because of you are saying no, you, we are sitting on uh, deposits. Okay. Firstly, it comes it comes from the interest income, from the deposits and uh, both at Vietnam, both and in India. Okay. So, but but that uh, that has been accounted for the for the entire year for this quarter only because this is, this is a substantial. No, no, not uh, this, year. this year, if you see standalone, there is a dividend income standalone. If you are seeing. Yes. Sir. Okay. Dividend income, which we, we uh, for information of all, I missed to uh, make one point. We received four million dividends second time in the Q4 uh, from Vietnam. We received already 2 million in the first quarter of uh, 522. Another dose of 4 million we received again in the fourth quarter. So you may be seeing large uh, other income. Right. Right, right, sir. I got, I got your point. And that gets nullified in the consolidation and then, then comes the, uh, our, uh, treasury income part. Uh, that yes. is the book. Yes. Right. Yes. right. Sir, if, if we uh, if we take uh, your engineering heavy engineering part of uh, aspect uh, business, so what what comes uh, the comes under the scope of work actually we are doing and which industries are we mainly catering? So I heard you saying about sugar and other sectors. So uh, are we uh, are we having a majority of this work towards the private customers or, or public sector units? Just if you could give us some more color, wherein we are yeah. facing margin pressure, sir. I'm sure that our heavy engineering unit makes large machinery required for cement, sugar, uh, power plants, pressure vessels uh, required by oil companies, and uh, we also cater to space and uh, defense. Uh, defense and space may be smaller, but we cater to them. And uh, in this, is it government or person? It's a combination. But PSUs are also there, like oil companies. And we also have space uh, yeah, organization uh, and defense organizations uh, and, uh, who are placing orders on us. So you can say 60-70% is private players. The balance is uh, government related. And so has there been any ride back or receivable problem uh, in, uh, under this category? I mean, if we take the losses uh, for the full year, that translates to around 22, 21.32 crore. And the quarterly, uh, last this quarter, there was a reduced loss of 3 crore only. So is there any ride back or receivable part that, that has gone bad, sir? Some 2 crores ride back is there. Uh, because we won a case in uh, a power case. 
so the, the losses which were booked earlier were written back because of the reduced demands on the power distribution companies okay. so, so that is a, that is a income sir uh, had that not been the case the losses would have been much higher so by uh, higher by 2 crore Yeah, I have been fighting uh, by two crores. Right, you are right. Okay. Sir, coming to your sir, then the outlook for the engineering part. I'll, I'll just dwell a minute more of, about it, sir. Uh, sir, when you say that there is no uh, there is no uh, problem with depth of order, it is only about the uh, inflationary trends uh, that are affecting the segment. So, sir, we are not only we are we are only not the company who is doing engineering work. There are other other people, I think, to also. that are uh, doing the same work so where is the disconnect that we are uh, uh, we are not able to make profit whether it is the fixed cost uh, that are not getting uh, covered because of the low volume business or uh, old legacy orders where uh, we have uh, gone uh, unhedged because of the raw material mix and and, uh, and what constitutes the major raw material sir is it the steel part only that that plays a major role uh, as a raw material basket in the engineering segment the yeah, first point is what constitute major cost that is the steel material one second i think the many engineering units in the country are making more or less losses because of the steel prices many if you name a company i will make a comparison with that company i try to take any if any corrective action is possible based on the example given by you If you tell me any company, sir. Likewise, comparison I don't have, but I have I have looked into Ilkon engineering numbers. I have looked into Anup engineering numbers. If if they are comparable, I am not aware of it. So correct me there, sir. Yeah, yeah, I will check it, sir. Definitely, I will take yeah. the ideas from you people and check yeah. that. I am trying to even correct our uh, units operations. We are trying to avoid certain uh, orders which are last making. If there is any possibility of uh, withdrawing. legally from any orders which because of cost escalation we are doing that within the uh, contractual commercial terms we are withdrawing already but we have still large order book but uh, one point is engineering generally making losses second point the input prices are uh, steel third point is the future we hope to break even in the uh, in the current year of course uh, people also will question me you said this similarly last year correct but, uh, i suddenly faced the problem of steel prices right so what is the order book sir as on march and what is the order intake for this 45 days uh, for of this financial year today sir give the closing order book no no in fact i am not able to tell you uh, in this 45 days but order book as on uh, 31st march is about 150 and then i'll come in the queue sir for the follow up sir i have couple of them but uh, i'll come in the queue thank you uh, no problem okay, may i ask a few more sir is the uh, queue permit or can can i come in the queue that normal bank can uh, go ahead ha that is what the point uh, okay i'm continuing sir for the cement part sir if you could uh, give some uh, color on uh, what portion of our cement sales are trade and non trade and what portion uh, uh, is the blended opc and the ppc part sir Yeah, uh, most of our uh, uh, cement goes to trade only, seventy percent. Non-trade is uh, the balance. And uh, uh, your second question is blending. We yeah. primarily have OPC and PPC, fly ash based, not uh, slag based. So uh, that is also nearly thirty, forty percent. We are uh, going for uh, fly ash based. Okay, so only thirty percent is blended, sir. This is because of the nature of the market we are servicing, or uh, any other compulsion, non-availability of uh, uh, liars. Uh, sir, first point is between uh, nearly 30-40 is the blended, that is uh, OPC, uh, PPC cement. Liars availability is there. There is no issue. The market uh, intake is the what we look at. If we now we have started a packing plant at Chennai. Fly ash is available. They are going to uh, confirm the orders of fly ash sale. So hopefully we will get uh, distributed fly ash cost. Okay, so this mix will change sir over the years, or uh, this is what the continuity is going to. I for the years mix will change towards blended cements. Okay, well, what are we eyeing sir in terms of that? Because that will be to to going to the uh, bottom line completely. Correct, correct. Sir. Say the cost reduction measures are fly ash based. 
we are also looking but not uh, yet confirmed plans at uh, blending uh, i mean uh, slag but uh, we are at to set up any plant and on the whrs front sir i heard you speaking but i missed the point uh, what yeah, is our whrs have, capacity we have a plan of cost reduction we are at to inform uh, exchanges about the concrete plants it's okay. a very rudimentary preliminary plans of uh, setting up we already have one whr in macherla running giving good results uh we are we are thinking on those lines of setting up uh, in our muchala where we have uh, 3 and 1/2 million tons of capacity okay so what is our, our total capacity sir including the two tons 4.3 both plants put together 4.3 cement 4.3 cement and the cost of power per unit is on the blended basis and uh, each unit uh, we import and also make uh, uh, our generate our own power but uh, what we are doing we have uh, internal uh, power plants but we are segregating them as separate segments so mm. we transfer it uh, the, the 5 and 1/2 rupees uh, based on the discoms price on uh, norms length so we if we have to import power it, that is the price plus uh, uh, contracted maximum demand charges and an average comes to about 6 and 1/2 rupees including uh, the demand charges right right yes right. generation cost can... also thermal power plant the other than thermal power plant generation cost is hardly 2 rupees so that becomes a profit balance uh, the about 2 and 1/2 rupees like that but on uh, see the thermal power plant we used to manufacture i mean generate at 5 rupees uh, but now the cost have gone up much beyond even 6 7 rupees because of the indonesian coal price rise mm. so that 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 are the cost economics price economics rather correct and and lastly on the hotel part also sir you did spoke that we have no plans to uh, be merged or di- di- divest the hotel and so since, since it is a single uh, single un- unit only so mane uh, what kind of synergies does it play with our uh, line of business mane uh, there there can be uh, correlation between cement heavy engineering and sugar is all together a different aspect but how does hotel fits into our uh, realm of uh, businesses and uh, what is the key rationale to of continuity of uh, having uh, one single uh, hotel sir a multi product company rather not cement may be flagship company we are multi product sugar and cement have no relation but still we have sugar also uh, similarly we have hotel we used to have a large parcel of land prime land located centrally in hyderabad so we to make use of that we started this when we started we thought we would make profits now uh, those uh, i mean uh, Thoughts might come true in the coming years, but uh, making break even or even better than break even. So, what is this energy? Making uh, use of the land and uh, making profits is the idea. Uh, diversifying into cement. See, if you see cement also in south, uh, you hardly use 60 to 70 percent capacity. Can you install any new cement plant in south now? Yeah, can I venture into installing another cement plant? with large too many players playing around with only uh, utilization around 70 unlike north where they use 90 to 100% so you have to have a look at uh, diversifying your business that is the idea in fact when we set up the cement was hardly a, a, a used at a capacity of 60 if not less so cement uh, those days was not good we went into that is only diversification idea thank you mr kapoor may we request that you return to the question queue for follow up questions the next question is from the line of raj nahar from mili consultants please go ahead yeah thank you uh, my question is about your whrs uh, you also have your own engineering you are the first one in the, one of the first one in the industry to set up four megawatt mm. uh, whrs why uh, all other cement plants in the country uh, either have uh, already uh, operating the whrs 
all are going into it in a big way basically why and you are sitting in uh, also the uh, comfortable chair position also so how why why this so much uh, time taken for implementing or announcing this for project uh we set up our uh, line to only in the year uh, 19 uh, 2020 was our first year of uh, line t- i mean uh, expansion of cement capacity so with the limited capacity available we did not want to venture into large capex especially when funds were not uh, available that much now that funds are available we are planning certain new initiatives so better late than never thank you mr nar may we request that you return to the question queue for follow up questions thank you the next question is from the line of munjil shah from ada wealth please go ahead hello yes mr shah yeah good afternoon sir couple of questions one is on the sugar in vietnam yeah. okay means you have dwelled on it but uh, how confident are you of uh, this numbers going up uh, this year and following years actually uh based on present uh, circumstances and also what we foresee the government is supporting the local industry and also season seems to be good uh, in the coming years uh, coming in this one year at least so we are uh, reasonably confident that uh, we continue to run at a similar level okay and based on Second the uh, uh, climatic conditions as well as uh, the political environment and second is if you look at the sugar numbers on a quarterly basis okay it means there is lot of fluctuations in some quarter the turnover is very high profit is very low in some quarters like q4 the turnover was only 66 crores and the ebit was almost 57 crores okay so should we ignore this quarterly and look at the yearly numbers or is there one off in uh, q4 uh, i would suggest because the sugar being seasonal highly cyclical numbers you will be seeing q2 q3 there will be some slump this uh, highly cyclical one second point is there are certain actions initiated towards end of quarter 3 which helped the better numbers in the subsequent quarters that is levying anti dumping duty from across the board that helped in later part of the year so these are fluctuating conditions both uh, because of uh, the season as well as the additional help coming from the government to the local industry so better uh, always average it out of uh, any year okay and, and in vietnam since we have so much of cash okay means is it possible to increase sugar capacity or you know are you looking at some other uh, capex in vietnam two points uh, one we are we have received for setting up ethanol plant some permissions and we are looking at the availability of sugar cane to first feed the sugar production then based on that we are going to set up as an ethanol plant fuel made ethanol okay yeah and these are the capex plants exact timing we will decide based on this kind of availability the sowing area the crop area that is the area under sugar cane cultivation based on all this we will take a call on ethanol any time second point is we also received an approval for setting up 60 megawatt uh, 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 power cogen plants we have already set up 30 again the availability of bagasi as well as uh, uh, the biofuels is slight constraint is there in that country so once uh, if we have our own bagasi no issue but we also need to buy biomasses so we have based on that we will set up a 30 megawatt power plant also because we can export power that helps uh, the the bottom line of that uh, unit uh, so these two plants are there apart from that we are exploring other ideas okay and and, and in terms of market share okay in vietnam how uh, big is our sugar gloves pardon we are exploring certain diversification ha uh. Uh, into uh, like medical uh, equip- equipment uh, gloves like things which has large demand in in vietnam 
Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, and in terms of market share, how big is the sugar venture in Vietnam? Like, what are the competition? Uh, you know, mm, there is competition, but the area where we operate, uh, if we produce, we can sell hundred percent. Okay, and we would be amongst top five top five companies in Vietnam in sugar. Maybe, but I'm not able to exactly say this. I have to get the data. You can call me separately. I will find out sir, from our Vietnam. Sure. sure. Yes. And second is, sir, means, means you know, but, 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 uh, there were questions on this also. Just means, is there a thought process from the management? Okay, since now the balance sheet is very comfortable and we have deep assets. Okay, and you know. Uh, at least couple of uh, our uh, you know uh, divisions which have been making losses uh, you are sounding also confident you know that they will turn around maybe this year next year okay so you will have lot of cash actually so is there a thought of buyback or you know uh, uh, something of that sort from the management or management is quite happy with the current position and you know the current valuations at which uh, you know uh, the shares are quoting actually yeah in fact uh, the buyback idea is not there at uh, but uh, more importantly if the uh, conditions stabilize uh, there are capex plans to substantially enhance the uh, top line as well as bottom line and there are capex plans where we are at to formalize those plans i told you earlier that once yeah. we some kind of stabilization in the economic conditions and input price conditions. We'll take a call on that. But on buyback, right now there is uh, no plan as such. No, sir. We understand, you know, because you know, we we absolutely understand that you won't uh, share details before uh, you know announcing at the exchanges. But at least, you know, as shareholders or whatever, at least we can get some idea that over next three years, if you have say 300, 500, 600, 600 crores of cash available, which division will have the maximum uh, capex actually? Whether it will be cement or whether it will be heavy engineering or maybe some other ventures, if you can just highlight that, it would be very helpful. Uh, yes, sir. Cement, uh, we have to take a call based on uh, the war crowded uh, capacity in the south. So we have to look. We are evaluating this part. And uh, also engineering side diversification also we are evaluating. Uh, but uh, concrete plans, I am not able to share anything now because we... Right now, we have plans to invest, but uh, which area I'm not able to concretely tell you because we are right to finalize those things. And we also had a um, change in management in the heavy in the heavy engineering division, right? Couple of years back. Yeah. Okay. So we had hired some guy from uh, that Matru, some company, I forget actually. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Nigam. And he was he was with MTAR also. Okay. That's correct. So he still he is still there, or you know, what are his plans? Because he's come from a you know a decent background actually. Okay, where there was yeah. a great hope that you know the division will turn around much faster than anticipation. Correct. Okay. Now we share your concern, and uh, he he has plans which might. Uh, Reflect into actuals in the this year or next year. Most likely this year. Thanks a lot, sir. Appreciate, yes. sir. Thanks a lot. Yes. Take care. Bye. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Somil Shah from Paris Investment. Please go ahead. Yeah. Good afternoon, sir. I had a question on our sugar division. Normally, this quarter sugar division is uh, it does better. Uh, compared to the previous quarters, right? Yeah, right. But then this quarter, when we look at the revenues from sugar division, it is hardly, say, 66 crore or 65 crore. What is the reason for that? This quarter? Yes. 66 crores, uh, and now the season commences in the in, uh, Q4. And uh, Q, in Q4, uh, let me check uh, our uh, uh, operations. Mm -hmm. in this quarter is always better. 122, no? Where are you seeing this 66? Oh, net profit, you mean to say? Profit before tax? Yeah, 
no no when i see your results segment is 120 sir sorry income level mm-hmm. is 122 crores so when i look at the notification it is showing sugar at 66 crore revenue segment revenue Uh, a segment revenue. Yes, okay. and and net profit uh, profit before tax it is showing fifty six crore. Yeah, uh, I'll uh, check that once and get back to you. So, what is the sugar revenue as per your records? Ah, uh, it is of course some eliminations are there. So at gross level before eliminations, one twenty two crores. Uh, At gross level, net level it is about uh, profit before tax uh, or after tax it is sixty. Uh, I think you need to change it. I think there is some uh, mistake in the presentation. No, 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 not mistake. Actually, the sugar uh, uh, Vietnam business has got two segments. One is the sugar business, the other one is corn and power, 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 power business. So you can combine both the segments. Now you will not know the power segment separately in your number because power is one for the entire uh, group. So the numbers are correct. The bottom line when is we, right. When we when we compare it with the uh, year on year, last March the sugar division's uh, revenue was one one seven crore, and correct. this March it is sixty five crore. Correct. Ah, uh, the that is in ah uh, last year to current year reduction. You mean to say? Yes. Last year to current year. Yes. Uh, the current quarter numbers sir what i am saying is uh, broken into power and this last year probably entire thing is uh, in sugar only no, not much of power but last year profit margins were lesser okay this year is substantially more 20 more 20% more, 25% more okay okay and what was the capacity utilization of sugar division this quarter uh, uh And here, let us not look at the quarter because of sugar being uh, seasonal. Okay. Uh, if you look at the entire year, we normally run at about seven uh, thousand uh, tons crushing capacity against eleven thousand. Okay, so around sixty sixty five percent capacity. Twenty you can take. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, sir, as uh, the other participants also asked you the similar question, we have a cash in hand of about five seventy crores. And at the group level, we have some, yeah, group level. And the debt, uh, we have about four thirty seven crores. So why don't we reduce some of the debt? Ah, uh, in the country standalone basis, I have a debt of three hundred crores, including public deposits. Sir. Mm-hmm. Uh, the choice is between reducing the debt or capex. Already we have uh, debt uh, again uh, term loan sanction. Mm-hmm. Is it uh, required to be liquidated? Liquidated at a return of seven eight percent, or should we go for the investment of the surplus? This is the choice we have to take. We are trying to take a choice now. Okay. You understand the logic, no? What I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I understand. But at least, I mean, we can reduce some debt because in uh, India level also we have about two fifty crore cash in hand. And yes. And Vietnam we have about three hundred. So if you could, you know, we have a large cash. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and sir, any plans of demerger? Is it possible to demerge the sugar division or any plans of such? Demerge means what? It's already a subsidiary. Okay, no, I mean the listing of the sugar division. Is there a possibility we can list it separately? List it in we if we want we can we have to list it in Vietnam only, not here. Okay, 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 fine. That's it from my side. Thank you very much. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Diksha Abadi from Fort Capital. Please go ahead. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. So I just want to know, can you give uh, some light on your uh, power business? Power business, as I told, we have all kinds yeah. of power. And uh, the mm-hmm. good performance uh, performers are green energy. Uh, the mm-hmm. power plant is the one where uh, we are showing uh, some losses because of the higher fuel cost. 
but the power plant the thermal power plant uh, is set up primarily to meet the needs of cement generation okay so when uh, we are uh, the power division is doing well except thermal power plant because of fuel prices yes we have recent order book thermal power plant and no, 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 no. hydro unit 4 megawatt uh, uh, waste sheet recovery and uh, about 1 megawatt uh, solar okay okay thank you sir thank you thank you the next question is from the line of vivek joshi individual investor please go ahead hello yes sir uh, i just have two queries First, we are in since we are already sitting on so much of cash, and uh, I'm sure I'm guessing that we are getting uh, out of it, and the amount of interest that we pay to the debt that we have taken from bankers, there would be a parity, and uh, why are we not using it? First of all, and my second query is, I mean, uh, since we have been making heavy losses in heavy engineering, so are we not incorporating any escalation clauses, which uh, I'm sure every other company into engineering does have it in their contract? Why are we not having it? And uh, how long do we want to wait for this particular uh, division to enter losses? I mean, let's say if we have two more years, so does the management have any outlook to uh, cut the losses of the division? Yeah. Uh, the first question you are not properly audible, sir. Second question, first I will answer. Heavy engineering escalation can be incorporated. It depends on this unit makes each customer base order it takes. it uh, depends on uh, the relationship and also the terms set by the customer normally no customer accepts escalation on uh, in engineering uh, goods delivery i mean uh, any equipment manufacturing no escalation is allowed except in civil contracts where diesel price and uh, steel prices are linked but in uh, our type of business no escalation people agree primarily This question, I think, you need to repeat on uh, sure. because there was some discussion. Uh, just to add to the answer that you have given, I know of a few companies where I have been an investor, and each one of them are having an escalation clause. I mean, it is a prerogative of the company, and the company is there to do business and to generate profits for the investors, and not to maintain only the relationship with the customer. So I agree, politely disagree with that. And if we are not incorporating, I would suggest that we start doing that. Yes, yeah, sir. Thank you, sir. And definitely, we are also making an attempt like this in the similar way. I take your question, and I'll convey it to the engineering unit head. Yes. Yeah. And the first question, I would just reiterate. I mean, since we are sitting on so much of cash, yeah. Uh, so, for example, I would just take a simple term. If I'm making a deposit today, a bank deposit, I'll be getting about five percent. But if I take a loan, I'll end up paying about seven to eight and a half. Right. Correct. So why are we not making use and why are we still sitting on the cash? I mean, how long the management would want to sit on the no, cash? No, no, no. Yeah, I agree. Do you see a solution by uh, next quarter? Yeah, no. Back to your first question. Your there is a, there is an arbitrage between uh, term loans and uh, the return we get five percent to seven percent, whatever it is. Why not uh, liquidate that and get that two percent extra? This is uh, one. But the, the, these are the ten loans sanctioned based on project evaluation. We are also thinking of some new projects. We are in the process of finalizing whether to sit on cash or to liquidate the debts or to invest in new capex. We are uh, we will finalize uh, this year definitely, a quarter or two. Okay, so by second quarter, I mean we should be having something concrete on paper, right? Yes, sir. Excuse me, once again. Hi. By second quarter, we will have something on paper, so we should be concrete as to uh, yes, how we are going to be doing our funds. Yes, sir. Hopefully. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, and all the best. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Ajit Darda, Nirzal from the from Nirzal Securities. Please go ahead. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, I just wanted to understand about that sugar thing. because even i had that question that the revenue uh, revenue in this quarter of in sugar is 65 crore or 66 crore and uh, profit is around 57 crores and it is it is something 
So just wanted to understand uh, the uh, rationale behind that. And uh, say there is large power segment which has uh, got uh, some consolidated in power segment. Uh, so the, the, the power segment normally profits will not be as much as in sugar. And uh, so and if we combine both only we will be able to see proper numbers. It is not exactly 87% we get. Uh, there will be, if there is some balancing involved in this. The power segment, that is uh, some uh, lower profits or losses, whereas in sugar, large profits are there. But in power segment, if I, I can see, achha, so uh, so what is that amount, that uh, that one off, that uh, which, has, which will have included in? Yeah, yeah. I'll, you consolidated numbers of Vietnam for both power and uh, uh, I mean uh, sugar, it comes to, uh, the revenue comes to about, uh, sales comes to about 103 crores, uh, including power, and uh, net profits, uh, net, and last year also 107 is there, and net profits come to about 67, depreciation, after depreciation 62 crores versus 43 crores of last year. This improvement overall, if you see, is primarily due to price realization and sugar only. There is no, not much of improvement in power. Sorry, sir, I did not understand this. Just, I'll ask, i just uh, reframe it. In, sir, power, in power segment, in segment result, what I'm saying is, there was profit of 7 crore in last year, and this time it is a minus 0.8 crore. Ah. Okay. Uh, the power segment is all inclusive of uh, India as well as uh, Vietnam. Power segment posted losses, yes, because of fuel prices in India. And also Vietnam, there is not much of price increase. So there is not much of improvement in power, power sector, but though in Vietnam it contributes to marginally for pro, uh, some uh, profit. And it caters to the power requirement of the Vietnam industry. There is a loss, yes, in power. Because of thermal power plant in the country, because of fuel, the cost escalation. Sir, sir, I understand that. My question is, you just said something about reclassification or something which the top power which is considered into sugar. So, can you just quote that number or can you explain it once again? Sorry, I'm not able to understand it very clearly. I will, Maybe I'm... Uh, I will give you overall consolidated, sir. Okay. Uh, yeah, just, just, can, can you just go through one consolidated? Ah, uh, yes. Quarter four, all put together Vietnam numbers are about 103 crores of revenue. And I am not, okay. all I am talking in Indian rupees. Understood. Again, as last year, 107 crores. Understood, sir. And then uh, profit before taxes, uh, uh, is uh, even after tax also same 62 crores in the current year versus 43 crores of last year these are control numbers as for Vietnam alone if you break up into segment look at Vietnam totally if you break up into segment you are finding this uh, some disharmony in the numbers because a large loss is in uh, power and uh, so a large profit is in sugar Okay, okay. And the second thing I just wanted to understand about the anti-dumping measures you talked about, uh, yeah, yeah. The, which have been taken by Vietnam government. So, uh, are these sustainable or how is it? Uh, the anti-dumping measures, normally you cannot look at any longer horizon like five years like that. If you ask me about uh, this year, yes. Okay. So, this current financial year, it is going to be there. Ah. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Sir. That is expected to be there. That is not going to be there. Okay. okay. Understood. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the last question for today. I would now like to hand the conference over to the management for closing comments. Yeah. First, I thank all the investors for the suggestions given rather than on the questions. Questions uh, I could answer, but uh, 
one or two suggestions came up i will definitely convey to our individual unit heads about the feelings of uh, investors and also the suggestions uh, um, like escalations and other things and also the announcement of bottom line and also the idea on uh, uh, interest reduction or capex and the plans for capex so all these will be discussed with the management in after this call and also with the owners i really thank for the analytical questions were posed by the investors that is one second i also thank the nirmal bank for the excellent coordination made this is what i would like to say thank you all thank you sir thank you ladies and gentlemen on behalf of nirmal bank equities that concludes this conference call thank you for joining us and you may now disconnect your lines